Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. All right, what we're going to talk about today is wallets. Basically, kind of EDC wallets, everyday carry wallets. I've got big wallets, expensive wallets, less expensive wallets, Kydex wallets. And so far, this is my favorite wallet. I've been testing it for about two and a half months. Really enjoy it, and I'm going to go over why I enjoy it the most. With all of its features, everything you can do with it, and we'll kind of get into it. First, I'll kind of go over the name. <clears throat> it is M-U-R-A-D-I-N, so Muradin, I guess. Um, now, I'm going to leave a link below to their website. On their website, this wallet's about 46 bucks. However, I purchased it on Amazon, so you can look it up on Amazon. There's multiple colors of wallets. There's leather, there's camo. You've really got to seek out the camo if you want it. Um, there's gray, there's cloth, nylon, you know, kind of like a fiber type Kydex look. Um, there's all different kinds of models. So you can find it on their website and then you can, you know, go to Amazon and try to search it out. Maybe just put in this name and put camo wallet. It'll pop right up for you on their, again, on their website, they're $46 on Amazon. They're 30 bucks. <laughs> so big difference and if you've got prime or whatever you can get free shipping or you know whatever you want to do however let's go ahead and go over what's in the box then we'll get to the wallet I'll go over some specs here's the sticker that's on it and it actually says leather wallet well as we can see this isn't leather I couldn't find out where they were made on their website however once I received it it says made in China so it is made overseas I was hoping it was an American made however you know it is what it is so I do prefer American made products. In the box, you will get the box. You'll get this little screwdriver with extra screws and I'll show you where the screws are on the wallet. It does come in a bag, it's got the silica gel pack and it does come with the RFID card. I'm not real familiar with those. I mean, I guess it's some kind of an RFD blocking card. I don't know how well that works personally. I uh, haven't ran into that. And then I'll show you this one. I did purchase two of them. This is in a different box. Here's the number on this one. And I've already opened it up to look at it. <clears throat> Here's what the little RFID blocking plus card looks like. It's really heavy duty, super thick. And it does say this on it. Again, I don't know how well this works, but that comes in the box. Again, in this one, you get the little screwdriver and some screws. Comes in this little bag. Just going to show you how it comes so you just slide it out of the bag and then this is the leather version so it's actually on the leather it's really soft and you know kind of bendable i didn't know this about the leather this one's a little more firm and i'll show you that but you open it up you know this is where you can put your id your driver's license um, and then you know there's your money clip strap here's where you can put your credit cards this is aluminum it does come with this little um, kind of an Ida or area where you could put like tie a paracord, you know, like a pull strap if you wanted that hanging out of your pocket to help you pull it out. It does come with this little hook. The only thing I can figure this hook is for is for keeping this strap down. So that's the only thing I can figure, you know, you wave your strap in, but it comes installed already. Um, but that's kind of it. And it's aluminum, you know, it's very thin. The specs on it. Uh, this wallet as it is, and I'm sure that's empty weight, it's 2.96 ounces. The size is 4.4 by 2.8 by 0.7 inches. So that's the specs they have. Uh, it says it'll hold like 8 to 10 credit cards, you know, da 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 da. But I'll show you some sneak peeks of how I have this set up. Makes it a little more incognito, I guess. But you can see it's pretty, pretty thin. You know, there's my finger, so it's about as thin as my finger, which I have large fingers, but, you know, there's that. So we'll get this out of the way, and then we'll get over to mine. So what do I like about this wallet? It's actually a very small footprint. It's not the big bifolds, you know, I've got, I mean, I have expensive, expensive wallets all the way down to less expensive wallets, and this is the one that I really like now. So I'll kind of show you how I have it set up and, you know, what I've done to it, but... I have my quick card here so you can put you know like one or two credit cards out here I've got the RFID blocking 
uh, card here. You can put cash on the outside under this band if you choose to. I don't really want to put any cash on the outside. I did remove the cash that was on mine, but there it is. So that's my driver's license. Of course, I've got it covered up because it's got all my vitals on it. Um, but there's my driver's license in there to get it out. You can see this little cutout. It is difficult when you first get it to get your driver's license out because this is kind of a clear, tacky, I don't know what it is, plastic. So it will stick to your driver's license. So you kind of have to you know, pull it out for the first one or two times. And after that, you can remove it pretty easily. But uh, then you, know, you can put your cash under here, under this band, and I would double weave it just so it doesn't fall out. Um, and there's a way, you know, you can put your bills this way and then fold them over so they will not come out. However, I put my large bills under here. You can probably see them up under there. Those are just large bills. I don't like small denominations. I keep the larger ones under there. Uh, and then here, you know, there's my license to carry handgun for Texas. Uh, and then I have other ones in here. I have a total of 10 credit cards and like insurance cards, you know, dental, health, all that stuff in here. So they're actually thinner than a normal credit card. But I have a total of 10 right here. Uh, and like I said, they're not all credit cards. I'm not going to pull them out. But in order to remove them, you just push here at the bottom. There's a little thumb cut out and then it disperses your cards. So if you want the back card, you know, you could push farther back here. You want the front card, you could push farther up here. I will let you know when you do push it, other cards will kind of, they won't fall out. They'll just push up. So you might have to kind of dispense what you want to get. However, when you go, you can see this, it'll kind of fan out. See how I'm pulling it? So it'll allow you to get, you know, maybe a back one out easier or something like that. But this is less pliable, the, the camo or this thicker version. These seem thicker than the leather. Um, and I really love camo, as you can tell. So every day I'm carrying the wallet, you know, a flashlight, a knife, of course the gun, you know, backup mag keys, you know, phone, other stuff. But this little baby right here, and I will put a link below to their website. However, I purchased mine on Amazon. So I don't have an Amazon link affiliate or anything like that, but you can just write down the name or choose the color that you want and then go find it on Amazon for less than $30. So there you go. That's it pretty much fully loaded. So let's stick the finger back there. It's now, well, I mean, it's still about as, you know, if you can see that, um, but I'm really, really enjoying this wallet. So far, this is my favorite. I can get all my shit in it, and I really like it. So just wanted to share this with y'all. I've been posting this in pictures, and tons of people have been like, what's that wallet? What's that wallet? Here it is, and here's the review on it. So I'm enjoying it. Let me know your thoughts. You know, if you really care about a wallet, or and I carry this in the front pocket. I don't carry it in the back pocket. Uh, so that's the way I choose to carry. But I appreciate y'all so much. Please like, share, subscribe, you know, let me know what you think about this and uh, look for your opinions. But I appreciate y'all so much. Remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.